Hello, so we are going to do something very interesting in this topic. What we'll do is to try and um, generate our models from a command line. But before then, let me just give you a quick recap of what a model is. First of all, so this is what it looks like. We have a database uh, that we access from phpMyAdmin. Then um, the rest of this is inside Laravel. From um, the model to the view, everything here is inside Laravel. So this is the only one that is outside of Laravel, which is inside your system, your MySQL database. So inside Laravel, you have model. This model basically contains the, the logic that connects to your database and um, handles your user relationships, your uh, database or table relationships. Then um, each model uh, has uh, a controller that is directly connected to the model. So at the top of your controller file, you will have um, you have to state what the model is, which is import the model, and then from the from then you can uh, start using all the all the database uh, details that you got from the model. Now you can import several models, multiple models inside one controller file, but each model file uh, points to just one model by default. So this is how you name your model file in Laravel. It must be uh, capitalized, which, which means start with a capital letter and um, should be in singular. So it's a naming convention, it must be in singular. So for the user table, in user's table in our database, it, uh, the model should be user. The database name should always be in plural, which is users, and all in all small letter, so which is users. Then you have user as your model. Then uh, in the controller, the controller's name must be capitalized. As you can see, every new word is capitalized. But then uh, the name referring to the model should be in plural. Don't worry if all these things confuse you. You'll get to know them as you just practice them, get to know them offhand. So the controller name for the user controller is a users controller.php. So you must append controller. The word controller must be in the name of the file. So then your controller communicates with your route file, which then communicates with your uh, your view file. The communication goes that way too. So, so this is what the users see. So for instance, in, inside the users, con for the users controller, you have so many methods or functions. Some function, one function will handle the sign up, another function will handle the sign in, another function will handle the edits profile and so on and so forth. Then in the users view, in the users view, um, I put this forward arrow to show you that this should be a folder that contains uh, all your all the files that relates to this method, this uh, controller now um, this for each method in this controller you should have a different um, a different file view file so users will click, visit your site click on sign up they'll see a sign up page that you designed with html and php but then when they click submit sign up the contents of this uh, the form will submit to a method called sign up inside your users controller so this is how Laravel basically handles it each view is different but then many views can point to one controller and one controller can have many models and then each model is connected to at least one database uh, one table in your database so the routes file this file simply contains a list of all the routes basically which is, is just a basic definition of links when someone clicks which link a link uh, which method should it point to in your controller so we'll get to see it later but in the next video what we'll do is we have to create models for all the tables that we have created in our database and then we'll go ahead to create the controllers then we'll create the views all right thank you see you in the next video